All right, so here I am, my paint shop. I'm gonna be painting this fender here. We're gonna make this uh, flake, purple flake. So um, let's get started. So, so to get started here, I'm gonna sand this fender down with 220 grit so that I can put on my primer. Peel on the paint. Try to sand that down. See right here, I have some orange peel. I'm gonna sand that down flat so when I put my primer on, get rid of that orange peel. Or any spots like this, sand that down so you won't see that through the primer. There's a lot of layers of paint on here. Um, generally, I would take all this paint off down to the bare metal. This is for uh, customers. Um, but this is just my test fender. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it like this. Spray some primer sealer over it. And um, keep going on with this flake. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up this primer. I'm using this House of Color um, black primer. Comes with this hardener, and then I'm gonna reduce it. And uh, here's a scale I usually use to weigh out all my paints. So, just mix up some uh, primer. This is a four to one ratio primer sealer, and then I add a little bit of this just to thin it out. This is the producer to thin it out. So let's do it. You can also use this um, on the cup. They usually come with this. The ratio is on the side. If you go buy these cups online, you can usually get these uh, 100 count on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, I believe these were 100 for, I think it was $36. So here's what I use to spray the finish line by DeVille Bis. I forget how, I don't know how to say that. The FLG4. So I'm using a 1.8. I have a 1.3 tip on here. But for primers, I'm going to use the 1.8. Now, I don't know if everybody does this, but I don't use a strainer for my primer. I don't use a strainer for my primer. Um, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's just how I roll. So here it is. This is my uh, ventilation system. It's cheesy, but uh, semi gets the job done. And I usually have a heater on, and I have a temperature. I like to have it at 70 degrees, but uh, it's winter time. You just can't get it up to 70. This is like 65. So I just uh, work with what I got. And I'm going to put this, put the fender, put it on, a, put something like that down. Balance it out. Should be heavy enough to not tip over. Have it on this little turntable spin thing. Got this off Amazon as well. I believe these were eight dollars a piece just a lot easier just to turn your piece as you're painting it so. 
Get a tack rag. Wipe it down. Get all the dust off. black base coat on I don't know if you can see yeah you can see on the camera but so since I uh, sanded down the primer with 220 you could see that the uh, sand marks came through my base coat um, if I was just gonna put a clear on this not um, do flake I wouldn't have used the 220 I probably would use something like a 400 uh, wet sand so that when I put the clear coat on you don't have to put as much and you Possibly won't see these scratches through the clear coat. Um, but since I'm going to be doing flake, do flake, then clear coat, then sand, probably more clear coat. So it's going to be enough layers to, uh, to cover all those uh, sand marks. Okay, so here's the, the flake I'm going to use. It's a Roth flake. It's called the uh, Surfite Silver. It's the baby flake. 0.004 in size so I changed my tip back over to the 1.8 millimeter um, this flake should uh, flow through it just fine what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this uh, my clear coat I'm gonna put the flake in the clear coat um, and that should do it
it for today. Um, I think tomorrow or the next day or my next video, um, I'll cut the buffet. That'll be on my next video. So let me know what you think. Let me know what I did wrong. Have any advice? Have any questions? Let me know and subscribe for more. Thanks.